Okay, what is going on everyone? Uh, welcome to another video on uh, the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about a topic of adding music from the Files app to the music app on an iPhone. So you can see here is uh, the music application. And in case you have, let's say we open up the Files app and you can see that we have some MP3 files right here. You can see the sound wave and basically how you can add them there. It, well, it's a bit more complicated. That's why the video is literally titled Explain because I'm going to explain to you how it works. You cannot do it directly on the iPhone. You cannot just grab it and like somewhat move it over to the music app. It doesn't work that way. For this, you're going to be required to have a computer nearby. So it's not possible directly, but it is possible indirectly. So for example, if I open up this little um, files app and let's say I want to share this sound to my music app, I'm going to hold down on it and I will click on a share. So I'm going to click on a share like this and there is the possibility to use airdrop. So I'm going to click on airdrop and I'm going to move it over to my MacBook Air. So I'm going to wait a bit until the sound is going to be moved over. You can see that it has been working well. And now it just did show up on my iPhone. So you can see here is the sound. Now the next step, the next thing we got to do is to open up the music app on the computer like this. And as you can see on the left side, we have some sections within that application. So I'm going to show it to you right now. So this is basically the Apple music section. You can listen to that. You have the library section, but you also have the devices section. And right now I'm connected to my computer. So you can see that this is what it looks like when I go in here. Uh, you can see that this is my iPhone right there and I can switch in between them, all the stuff. And it shows me all of the songs available on my iPhone. Now, in this case, what I can do is to simply grab the file, grab the sound, which I have shared with myself. And I just, I'm just going to paste it in here. You can see the green plus icon, meaning that it's available to be pasted in here. So I'm going to click on that and perhaps I'm going to wait a bit and it's going to show up inside of there eventually. So you're going to have to wait and see if not, what you can also do is to use the com command O button and it's going to get you inside in here so you can do the very same stuff click on downloads click on uh, this file type and open it within this application it may not work the best possible way but after everything is synced properly i am of course connected with a cable to my computer after everything is synced properly the song is gonna be appearing on my iphone within the music app so this is something that you need to pay attention to. This is how you can basically get it to work. You can only make it direct, indirectly appear on your uh, iPhone using the, using the music app. So this would be like the first way how you can go about it. And I'm going to move over to the second way. But before, I need to show you one thing which I've been working on recently. And if you go ahead and open it up like this, it is basically the Foxtech education platform. It's a school group community, which you can join for free. And there are other people learning about their iPhones. And if you go to the classroom section, there is the free video editing course, free all apps explained. So in case you have a problem, for example, with the app store, you're going to come in here, click on the app store. You're going to watch the full guide, which is actually 18 minutes because I go into depth and summarize every single thing you should ever know about app store. So if you want to, you can go ahead and join it right now. I'm going to add more content as the time goes by. So definitely go ahead and do that. Okay, but if we can move over to the second method or the second point I need to make is that you can, of course, uh, use different apps to play music. Like if you have the thing within the files app, do you really need to have it only within that application? Do you really need to put it inside of the music app? Because there are other ways how you can use and play music. For example, if you go to the all apps. I already have the app called documents and this app is really nice. It allows me to store documents to browse them and do whatever I want, but it also serves as a music player as well. So I have all the controls to control the music. So why not just add it there if it's much simpler? So that's how it goes. That's how you have it set up. And now for example, on my iPhone, I'm going to come back to the uh, files app uh, right here. And let's say I want to share this sound. I'm going to again click on share. I'm going to scroll up a bit. And instead of going with the airdrop and sharing it to my computer, I can just move over and find the documents app. So here are the documents. I'm going to click on that. 
and I can literally play it in the documents right here. So you can see here it is. I can open it up and it's actual music player with all the features you would have even within the uh, Apple's music app, but it's not in the Apple's it's in the documents app. So if you really want to, you can also put it in here as well. I don't see a problem with that at all. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.